Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, I'll give you the, the results of my last auction in a couple of minutes, but I've got uh, one story to tell and uh, one letter to show you actually. Um, in about 1986, I met a guy called Paul Lisbicky when I was selling timeshare in Tenerife. We're still friends to this day, even though he lives in Sydney. Um, and around 1989, 1990, he was in New Orleans and saw that Level 42 were playing there. And uh, he went up to one of the stagehands who just happened to know me and said, I'm a friend of Julian's, can you get backstage? And he did manage to get backstage. And have a look at this. This is a picture of Paul with Mark, but that Mark's holding a poster saying, I like Paul more than Julian, <laughs> which uh, I think is great humour. And uh, again, it just shows you the nice, light-hearted side of uh, Mark. I'm sure Paul wrote the note, but um, there you go. Um, come here first, stay, stay here. Um, I actually found a letter the other day um, from Mark. Uh, this was, I'd written to him saying I wanted to try and see him um, at the Royal Albert Hall, I think it was in 2004. And basically he just wrote back saying, yeah, if you want to see me at the Uncle Albert Hall, as he t uh, t uh, said, just find Paul Timmins, who is the current tour manager. Well, this letter did get me backstage and it led me to getting this photo of Mark with my two sons. Uh, this, uh, this was 2004, so Joseph was about 11 and Louis was about 8. Uh, they don't look as cute as that nowadays because they're 23 and 20. Uh, but again, that's uh, quite a nice little story there. Now, um, the results of the um, auction. Basically, I'd like to uh, thank Claire Pedder, uh, Andre Simpa. Uh, Gary Hardman and in particular uh, Michael Webster. Now Michael bid about £32 for the Platinum uh, double album and a £31.50 I think for the Christmas card but he actually sent me two cheques for £100 each for each charity. He also gift aided them so technically the both charities benefited from, benefited from about £125 each. On top of that um, a guy called Rob Paul who did bid on one of my previous items, uh, a signed poster, and that, even in that time, he bid £18 but sent 30 Well, I was on Facebook with him the other day because he was trying to bid for Mark's bass guitar uh, and missed out by £10, I understand. Sorry about that, Paul. Uh, Rob, uh, beg your pardon. Um, well, he uh, said, I'll send £50 to um, help anyway, and he's gift-aided that as well. So in total, we managed to raise about £200 for British Heart Foundation, and £200 to St Francis Hospice. So I do thank you, everybody that part uh, participated in that. Um, there are a couple of items still uh, that didn't go, signed by Jocelyn Brown, so I am going to put these back on eBay tonight. Um, they're both signed by Jocelyn. Um, I know, obviously, most people watching these videos, it's all about Level 42, but I'm sure somewhere amongst you guys, you must know somebody that liked, uh, liked uh, Jocelyn Brown. Um, also, um, there's a car sticker that I had designed. If you used to go to Caster and the Soul Weekends, you may well have had a sticker in the back of your car saying this is a family car powered by Jazz Funk and Soul. And the original family whoa, whoa, uh, symbol. Um, I am going to put these on eBay as well. Um, they'll be two ninety nine, dollars but I will uh, donate a pound uh, to either charity, either St Francis or um, British Heart Foundation. You pick which one. Uh, that's it for today. Um, yeah, thanks for everybody that got involved in the auction. I think 400 quid, as I said, I didn't have to hike the Himalayas. I just sat at the end of my dining table. Everyone's got something that they want, hopefully. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a good Christmas. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.